guys. This is Tanya at Sidekick Crafts and it's Watercolor Wednesday. Yes, it is. You guys, I just want to thank those of you who have part been participating in Watercolor Wednesday. Um, I have been sharing some videos. Go check those out. I just want to thank you for participating and having so much fun. It's been so much fun watching your projects and seeing how you creating. I've really, really enjoyed it. Some of you have come up with some really cool projects and some really fun stuff. It's been, I've been looking forward to watching your videos and seeing what you make. And some of you have come up with some really fun, creative ideas, how to use your watercolors and other inks and things. And um, it's really inspiring. This brush, I think, is damaged. I wasn't sure it was going to work real well. Fortunately, I think it's being confirmed right now. Let's see if I've got a better brush. I think I might have used that one for glue or something for my other projects. I think I'm going to have to invest in some good brushes again. I think most of these are actually really hard and that's going to be a problem. Like this one is just like glued together. I don't see that going to be good for anything. Shoot. Let's try this one. This one feels like it's in its original state and it also feels like it's smaller than the other one. Let's try this. I'm just kind of doodling today. I don't know about you guys, but something about today has been really off for me. And it's just like the whole universe is just like negatively charged somehow. And I don't know what the heck is going on. I got to work and there were some weird things going on there. And it just didn't get better throughout the day. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to leave early today because I don't know. I don't understand what's happening but I don't like it. And I thought, you know, I just needed to get out of there. Remove myself from the situation. And I'm glad I did. I came home and, oops. Kinda took a nap for a little bit and watched some of y'all's videos. Cuddled with my dog. Tried to get right. It wasn't me. I wasn't in a bad mood. It was just stuff going on. We had some really cranky customers and some very emotional team members today. And it just, just, um, yeah. I could feel it. I wasn't the only one either. Somebody else told me they were feeling the same way about how things were going. Like, what is happening right now? So I hope you guys are having better days than that. It was nuts. I need more practice, you guys. This has been, um, this flower, I mean, it's not, it's turning out fine, but wow, it's not, um, not responding the way I'd expect it to which is just me being out of practice. Oh, Cash, stop it. My cat is being a cat. She's scratching on something back there. Probably something she's not supposed to be, I'm sure of it, because she's not supposed to be doing that on anything. That's not bad though, right? It's kind of a pretty flower, even if it's not as I'd intended. Let's do some green. I am a big fan of the um, kind of a pea green over here. This is called olive green. And I like to add some different colors to it to make it you know, just different, a little bit brighter, a little bit lighter in different places. I like to add just a little bit of color there. It's a little bit more yellow than I'd intended. 
I'm using uh, Canson's uh, paper again. And things just don't spread as well on this paper, you guys. I'm just saying. One of these days, I'm going to get out one of my better papers and work with that. What is it, Cash? Let's get a little bit brighter coat right here. Or just because our day was dark doesn't mean her painting needs to be. That's a little better, huh? I'm just practicing my strokes. Um, like I said, it's been a long time since I've really dug into watercolor, so this has been uh, really fun for me to just relax and practice. I watched some videos last night to kind of refresh my memory and, you know, remind me how to do some of these strokes and what would happen if I didn't do it this way or what did would happen if I did it that way. See, those are much better. I'm just kind of making a little branchy trail here. I like it. If I drop color in here, then what? It's going to spread a little bit. You'd hope. Those are some kind of fun leaves. Leaves are fun to practice too, because if you've got the leaf technique down, you can do flowers too. Watch this. We're going to do the same technique. So we're going to start off light light and then lay that down heavy pressure and then come up at the end and you can make this long or you can make it short you can fill that in and add some color in there if you want to and that's going to dry a little differently that's a flower petal for you but it could also be a leaf if you do it in green watch let's do the same thing in green why cashy so we'll do the same thing in green right here. Light, heavy, and then light. We'll go back in right next to it. Light, heavy, and then light. Look, it's the same thing. Just depends. Same shape, same process, just a different color. And if it's not quite the shape you want it, you can actually, you know, just kind of push that paint out a little bit. Reshape it if you like. You can uh, make it, you know, kind of squiggly over here if you want a bumpy leaf. You can add some darker color into there. Kind of introduce some different colors. You can make it what you want. So lots of fun things you can do with that technique. I love this, how this is kind of drying here. Let's do, hmm. Just kind of using some paint that I've already got here on the side. Make a tulip, kind of the same way. So I apologize, I've kind of gotten to this video late today. Um, with everything going on, I was kind of in a, I just don't want to talk to people kind of mode. And so I kind of waited on the uh, video because I wanted to be in a little bit better place. And, You know, try to find my mojo. Thought maybe after a nap I'd feel a little better. And I do. And then we ate dinner and everything's good. Sometimes when we feel like that, we just gotta, we just need to take care of ourselves first, right? So we're good for other people. All right, I like that. We're gonna... 
make a fine line. If I touch in here, it's gonna kind of soak up into the red a little bit. Tulips have long leaves. So we'll kind of go like that. This is kind of muddy. I'll just kind of soak that back up into the brush. We can fix it. Push it back this way. And we'll just put some more red in there. That'll be just fine. And then we'll do a green, another green leaf over on this side. Using the same pressures I did for these, a light pressure and then a heavier pressure, and then come up and do light pressure again. And then we can go back up in here and add some color. We can add some bright color, some happy color. Because tulips mean spring, right? We put some happy color in there. And actually, tulips don't have narrow stems, do they? They have thick stems. Good enough. You don't want to fuss with it too much, then it won't look right. So those are some fun techniques. I like how my rose turned out. Do you guys like how my rose turned out? I don't like this flower, but I like this one, and I like this one. All right, let's see what else can I what I can I doodle with. I like to just kind of play and make some fun shapes. Nature is never the same, so my favorite watercolor paint, you guys, my favorite color is this indigo. It's so versatile. You can add it to so many different colors to make some beautiful colors. It's just, it's gorgeous. It's one of my favorites. Blue is not my favorite color. So for me to say that indigo in, in this palette is my favorite go-to color. It's kind of an interesting thing, don't you think? But I just love it. It's so versatile. That's not what I intended to do. Kind of actually wanted to go a little more black with that. I think I could go with, um, I'm gonna add indigo to some purple and see what happens there. a really cool color might even bleed in there a little bit and that's okay it's kind of cool right kind of neat to have those colors together can you guys see that oh my gosh as I'm saying it I realize it's way up there I think you can see it let me get a little closer See how the colors just kind of mixed in? Let's do some more green. Let me use this green. I haven't used this green. So we'll just kind of... Ooh, that was probably the wrong green to go with that blue. But I know that I can mix some colors up and make it a little different. So we'll just kind of smoosh that up. Let's get a little bit different color. Let's go back to that pea green. We can mix that green with it, but the pea green kind of brings it back. I'm gonna add a little bit of the indigo. I'm gonna 
That makes a really cool green, yeah? And we'll just kind of swoop that that way. And branch it out. There we go. And then we can add a little bit more dark color in there. Just add a little bit of indigo, actually. I like how it just kind of spreads through. I think it's one of the fun parts about watercolors, just watching those colors do their thing. Oh, shoot. If you splash on your paper, just dab it up. Unless your water is really stained, it should just dab up pretty easy. Isn't that cool, though? fun technique all right let's try let's try a big pink one let's do the same thing actually that's the wrong color I don't want that color let's go with this pink we'll do we'll do another flower right here similar same kind of way just kind of Just kind of fuss. And then we'll go with a little darker color. We'll drop it in here. And then we're gonna even go a little darker and drop that really rich. This is Crimson, Crimson Lake is the color name. Right around here in the edge. Watch what that does. And then, because I really like that indigo, I'm gonna go back to the indigo. We're gonna put that back in the middle. And I'm gonna let the color touch a little bit and spread if it wants to. Look at that, that's pretty cool. And it has spread in a couple places, which is neat. We'll use the same green. I think I still have some more of that green over here. I think. I think that's the same one. Put a little bit of that. Put a little pea green. We'll put a little leaf out this way. We'll go this way. used to doing that that direction and put a little indigo in there last time didn't I we'll put a little bit in there again just a touch just to add some dark so yeah today I just thought I'd get out you know well, it is watercolor Wednesday, but thought I'd go ahead and get my paints out, relax a little. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself. It's been a day. Just relax and have some fun with it. Say hello to my besties, all of you. And come out and have some fun. See, that's pretty. I have some, well, they're in the other room, but I can't get them out right now. But I have some, um metallic watercolors too that would be really pretty to kind of add some sparkle in there so this is a little bit flat because those colors kind of all blended so I'm gonna go back in here now that it's dry and add a little touch of black in here darken up this center spot here and I think I'm gonna do uh, I think it's too soon on that one that one's still kind of wet and spreading so Probably making a mistake to get that one in there. But that looks so pretty. I can see the veining in here where it's spreading the dark color. Really, really neat. Look how the leaves have all the different colors in there, even with the blue, with the indigo, how it kind of went to the edge. It's really pretty. So fun, fun, fun. Should we make another? We've got pink, we've got blue. Should we do an orange? Let's do an orange. Let's do orange, that would be kind of fun. 
It's really bright, isn't it? Get in there. Just kind of mess with those petals a little bit. Remember, there's no such thing as perfection in nature. Just have fun. Okay, and then we'll get some darker orange. Just kind of drop that in there. Very pretty. We're gonna go even deeper and put even a little bit, oops. I wiped all that water off and I probably shouldn't have. A little deeper in color here. Just touch it in there. Just a little bit. And then we'll just kind of fill in the center. You can see the colors traveling. It's kind of fun. We'll let that dry a little bit. Let's do some leaves while we wait. adding a little paint to the mixture I already had. Light, heavy, light. Light, heavy, light. And we'll go here too. That one's really light, isn't it? It's too much water on my brush. So we'll kind of sop that up a little bit. We'll add a little more paint instead. Just to the outside layers there, edges. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of the indigo along the, the edge there. It's just so pretty before. Let's see if I can get the same kind of effect. Just a little. I want the leaf to be to be blue, but I want it to have those tones to kind of soak into it. Look how cool that is. The color is different, definitely different, but I didn't mix it up thinking I was going to be needing more. All right, let's go back into the center with the indigo. Actually. I think it's too much water. There's just too much water on our period. And I know it's gonna spread, so I'm not too worried about being perfect here. Now this one spreading is a little bit, could be a little more detrimental just because of the color differences, but um, it could be really cool too. I'm gonna pull some of this back just a little bit. It's going a little too far there. Even though this is really cool, I'm gonna pull this back too. Just a bit. Not quite what I want for my flower. Don't mind if it does a little, but not too much. There. And then when that dries, I'll put some black on top of it because the indigo does look a little flat when it's with the black, it just kind of makes it even sharper. This one's a little dry now, so I'm gonna do that to that one. Just put a little bit of black on top. It gives it just a little more depth in the color. It's dry, so it's not gonna spread. And then while we wait for that one, I love how those leaves turned out. Even with the blue in there, it turned green because it mixed with the other colors. It's really nice, really nice. <laughs> If 
fun is that? So next week, hopefully things will be a little smoother and I can make a card or something. I'm just not up to it today. Not up to it. Actually, one of the things I do want to do, I kind of want to play a little bit with this water and color. We use indigo since I keep talking about this awesome color. I just want to get my page wet. This might not be the best brush for that, but then I'm going to go up to the very top of that and just kind of stroke across. And then what I want to do is I want to keep adding the pigment to the same line and watch how it spreads. And then I'm going to tip my paper even and watch it go. Look how it just spreads down the paper. Isn't that cool? Now watch what happens. Can you guys see that? I think you can. And then if I add more pigment, more watercolor, it's just going to keep going. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's just going to keep spreading through there. it in over here so many things you could do with this technique you could make it um, could look like a frosty window it could look like a sky it could look like a storm or an ocean isn't that amazing my edge is down here so it's just going where the water is it's just filling in. I'm gonna let that dry for a bit. And then I'll go back with another color. Oops. Do you guys see that? When I tip the paper back a little bit, it just the the paint just went the opposite direction. It was kind of cool. All right, so we'll leave that there for a minute. Let that dry. That's kind of neat. I love it. And we'll see what it looks like when it's dry. And then my orange flower, that center is done. So let's go ahead and put some black in there. Did I already do that? I don't think I did. There. I don't think I did. This is just gonna be kind of fuzzy at the edges. Really, really pretty. Then I was thinking once that dries, we can wet it again carefully and then we'll do the same thing with purple and see what we get. So I kind of play with purple down here a little bit. Some of this color. Make a little flower down here while we wait for that to dry. Make little circles, little. You know, I need to practice my control, my little swirlies, because they're not that good. They need to be tight. They shouldn't have too much, too much white in between. And then as I get bigger around and around they should get bigger and stronger closer and then start putting more pressure and then that's still not too bad for not having practiced forever huh not too bad I am definitely not an expert at this. 
But if there's something that I do that will teach you something, whether it's right or wrong, I'm happy about that. If nothing else, I love to inspire you to get out your paints, get out your materials, and just try. Just try it, you guys. Just try. Make something beautiful. Some of you have been showing your pictures and your paintings and stuff, and you're you're way more talented at this than I am. But I do enjoy it. And I want to learn, you know? So we can learn from each other. Maybe I'll do something that'll inspire you to do it different, or I don't know. It's worth a shot. I am trying to watch more videos, though, to, for um, some of these people whose art I really love. Um, there's some really great folks out there who are doing videos and very, very talented. And I do try to watch as many of those as I can as well, since we're doing Watercolor Wednesday. Um, I'm trying to pick up some new techniques and ideas from them to kind of pass on to. So... That didn't work. All right, let's look over here. Where are we at? This is still... So one of the things you can do too with this... Ooh, you can add salt to it, which it makes really cool things. But I'm not going to do that because I don't have any salt in here. But you can even dab it and make it look funky. But you can get some of that color to pick up. Isn't that neat? I'm doing it on here because I'm just playing, you know. I'm not going for anything in particular. Now what I'm going to do, since I did that, since it's not a wet puddle anymore, I'm going to go carefully over this. I don't want to scrub it. I just want to get it wet again. And then what I'm going to do, <laughs> I did scrub some of that color up. What I'm going to do is go back in with my purple. And I want to see what's going to happen if I add purple here probably make a muddy mess but I want to try it I want to see what happens maybe nothing cool maybe something cool I know I've done it before where I've turned what I should have done is turn the paper around and on this way let's do that I can still do that we'll start up here and add the color up here and so they kind of bleed into each other just dripped all the way down. You can even help that color spread if you want to. It is making a puddle down here, which I'm going to clean a little bit. to run too far but when the colors kind of mix together it's kind of neat again never quite sure what you're gonna get because the water wants to do its thing but we can add more pigment in here when I say pigment I mean paint act like it's some magical thing oh, it's paint it's just paint in the water. Make kind of a fun background anyway. Ooh, you know what? I see something in that background right there. I actually see something cool. I'm gonna let that I'm gonna let that dry a minute. Because I see something. Ooh, I need to hold this this way a little bit. I see something. I see a picture. Actually, I don't need to hold it. I'm gonna let it I'm gonna let it go where it wants to. And um, we're going to turn it into something. Maybe. I mean, again, I'm not an artist, so I'm going to try something. And we'll see if it turns out how I'm thinking it will. Or how it might. But i got to let that dry a bit. So, yeah. And I want to mess with it so badly. <laughs> the paint is all kind of settling in the in the little bits or the, the holes, the divots that it's pooling. It's basically what I'm trying to say. It's pooling. But there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel 
feel like I should leave it alone. But you know me, can't leave it alone. So here's what I kind of want to do. I'm kind of um, messing with this a little bit to try to get some of the water out so that I can work with it a little sooner in part. But I also want to go back in, I'm trying not to add more water to it, but my paint is not wet enough to pick up. might be really bad or it might be really cool. I'm not sure which we're going to get. Just kind of using that indigo in there. Just dabbing it in. I kind of want some of those little spots to be in there, um, kind of like um, light, just to add some texture. So it's okay if there's little whitish spots in there or lighter spots. That's fine with me. Now what I want to do, call me crazy. Call me crazy, because this is what I'm going to do right here. I don't know if this is going to work. Still not sure if it's working, because I don't know if you can tell what I'm trying to do. Maybe. Maybe I just need to help it a little bit more. Does it look like you guys? Can you tell? Can you tell what I'm trying to do? Maybe, maybe not. supposed to be well well I don't know I can see it but I can't I don't know I don't know <laughs> if it's what I wanted to do but I'm gonna put in some of this black in here too I don't know if you'll be able to tell but Can you guys see maybe a sunset skyline? Like in the mountains with lots of trees? Is that coming through for you? I don't know. Maybe it's just a lot of purple blobs.
I don't know. Do good artists have to explain what things are? That's what I saw anyway. I don't know if it came out, but anyways, there it is. Good enough. I'm done. All right, you guys. Thanks for humoring me <laughs> with my little, my little escape, my little something. I don't know what it is. We'll see how it dries. I'm curious. I might actually go in with Micron Pen and um, sketch out some stuff in there when it actually does dry. But this session of Wednesday, Watercolor Wednesday, is over. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thanks for crafting with me. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for all your love and support. I love each and every one of you. I hope you're having a, a way better day than mine was. And we'll be praying for better days tomorrow for sure. Have a great one. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.